Well, this morning a couple of packages showed up out front. Three of them were for KCK. Oh my goodness. Hello, line man. And then this showed up. Oh yeah. My license is going to expire. So South Carolina will let you know two months in advance. Me. So I have to run to the uh, DMV today. Or whatever you want to call it. We call it the DMV in California. Um, MVD is what they call it out here sometimes. But you need that taken care of. But first, let's check out this other box that came. Yes, I saw it in the back. There was three other boxes about the same size. And this was green APU. So I talked to him at the show and said, hey, I'd like some of that stainless stuff. Let's see what they sent us. You want to check it out? Yeah. Okay. There's a bug. A bug? Yeah. Oh, that's a roly poly. <laughs> if you touch him, he'll roll up. Touch him on the butt. Touch him. I don't want to. Go. See? Turns into a ball. Doop -doop. What's he right there? He's hiding in the crack. He'll come out when he feels safe again. All right, back to the box. I used to I love playing with those things when I was a kid. All right, open up. What? Let's, let's see. Let's see what it is. Oh, heck yeah. Check out. So we got another service kit. Yes. So we're good for another 1,000 hours. All right. And then here's my new panels. Oh, yeah. So now they're all stainless. They get them right uh, here. The front one. I got the main cover. Oh yeah. Not pop and then I have the lower cover. Oh yes. Right it's gonna here. look awesome. It's gonna be right here. Okay, it's gonna go right there? Yeah. Thanks for helping. Got some oil. The oil. That's the big nice. stuff. Another service kit. Yeah. <laughs> We're good for a while. Thanks, I'm Green APU. Good. You got that? Another belt? Whoops, just fell down. <laughs> Two belts? You guys are awesome. Taking care of me. You guys. Cool, cool. Oh yes. Nice sweater. Sunshade. Hey, yes, look at that one. Hey, this one. I see it. Coffee one. mug. Okay, I like it. Thanks, Green APU. If you don't one. know about Green APU, it's the APU I run on my truck, and they are awesome. So check them out. One? You can hold that. Oh, we just did our thousand-hour service. Yeah. Nice, dude. Get the, uh, Thank you, Greg, Dottie, Art, Patrick, hey, Eric, Tim, everybody. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. Cool, dude. Right. Yeah, and one more oil. thing, one more thing of oil. So they got their own branded oil. That's awesome. It's not one. Okay, let's go put this on the truck later. Yeah. We will open the box, Bubba. <laughs> oh yeah. Two Dubs gets to see it. We will open the box. He wants to open his box upstairs for his channel. Pretty this cool, right? So, I love coffee mugs, and I love these things. Yes. There's a little note here. There's a note. Oh yeah. Face and sliced bread. Uh, you. <laughs> Dear Katie and Justin, I really enjoyed uh, doing Matt's show with you. Looking forward to doing another one soon. Love, Dottie. And her daughter. and Tessa. Aww. Aww. Appreciate you guys. We had a blast. I love it. You guys in Truck Smarter and everything. And uh, I made the I mistake, guys, of changing 3BB to his channel. He really wants to open his box, so I'll go show you that. Well, it'll be on his channel if you want to see what he's talking about. We'll go open your box, Kai Kai. But we're setting up their little like gaming play channel, and I was just gonna take 3BB, but then I realized all the 3BB subscribers are like car car people. <laughs> so I said, okay, we're just gonna start a new one. So if you, uh, that's pretty sweet. If you get uh, the chance, if you have kids this age, up to 10 or whatever, KCK plays, all one word, and then it's a Z instead of an S, KCK plays. I'll put it right here. Um, please subscribe to them or have your kids check them out, try to give them a boost. And we're just gonna start it from, also I was researching the YouTube kids channels and um, it's quite particular in getting those started so it's best to just start one from scratch so that's what we did and now uh, if you want to see what box he's talking about check out KCK Plays and I'm gonna go open that box yes okay so today is actually help the brother-in-law's day what Spencer what do we got going on just want the whole thing no not just head gaskets no more no, doing head gaskets, but, but you want to take it out to make it easy pull it out because you got because you don't got much room I got a lift. A lot of guys would just take, yeah, take the whole cab off. Yep, that's how they do it. I ain't got a lift, so. so we'll pull the motor. Yeah. So at, under high boost, she's pushing a little coolant. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Time to go. And you guys did them before? Yeah, I did, did about a little over a year ago. Hey, well, it's fun times. I know where I know where you've been. I'm about to do just a water pump <laughs> on a tow to Sienna, but not all this. Man, how long have you been doing it? Uh, started on it yesterday. Okay, there you go. Engine lifting brake. It makes it a lot easier. There you go. Yeah. Yes. Well, at least you still got the Mustang. Yeah. There you go. Well, geez, let's get this trailer hooked up. And like clockwork, look who shows up. UPS. So there's a bracket that goes on top of that. Is it 6.0? Yep. Goes on top of it so you can pull it out. A lot of guys will just pull the whole truck cab off, like the whole doors, hood, the front end will come off the truck and then they have access to the motor. But uh, yeah, gaskets, head gaskets are a big thing with the 6.0. But once you do it good, do it again. Might as well do them both. There it is. Spencer, you happy now? Right. Get the wrench and we're going to go get a couch. All right, Stan, appreciate you. All right, man. Thank you, man. All right. Yep. Yeah, come to Spencer's garage now. What's up? Come to Spencer's garage if you want your 6.0 pulled out today. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, man. Both sides. It's already off. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Was that the side? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? You're trying to look? Hey guys, you look more the best. Yeah. You can see it. It's all popped. All these warm spots. Oh yeah, spots. all the warm spots. Man. So, man, man, dude. Let's see what this side is. See what that one looks like. any better or any worse. Yeah. So this is what UPS brought, saves the day. Where did it go on? Right here? Right there. Just pops right in there. there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Makes it a lot easier to pop it. All right, Spencer 6.0 service. Yeah. There you go. Today is Friday, Good Friday, guys. It's a beautiful day in that sense, but uh, it's not a pleasant weather day. A little rainy. Um, goes on and off for being hard rain to light rain, but uh, that was really cool, I hope. <laughs> um, Spencer has that 6.0 almost figured out and get, get those heads back on. New head bolts, I'm sure. But uh, we had to do some stuff yesterday. Gigi's car had the water pump go, so I did that last night. I changed the channel, guys. Um, 3BB, I was going to just use that channel, but I realized a lot of guys on there, if I was subbed to that channel, I want to see IROX, Trans Ams, and auto stuff. So let's just leave that one the way it is. So we start a brand new channel for KCK Plays, which is just kind of like gaming and everyday life for the boys. Fun stuff, like anytime we go somewhere and we do something fun with them. So it's right here on the left. Please sub to it if you got kids or grandkids, if they would be interested in it. That would help get it moving. Um, and I'll do a link for it in the description below. Awesome, the green APU. I was going to go put those parts on my green APU. They're actually in the back of my truck right there. But uh, I'll see if there's going to break in the rain today. But right now, I'm just going to look at loads. It is discouraging. But I'm going to try something new and look at different cities. So let's check those out now and see if there's anything for Friday that's worthwhile. It's about 11 o'clock, but this clip I took was about 10 a.m. So that's what time it was when these loads were posted. Let's check them out. Let's check these loads. Truck Smarter right there in the middle. Okay, free load board guys. Great people. Met them at Matt's last week in person. Been talking to the phone for over a year. But a great app that puts all these loads in brokers I've never worked with before in one place. But you can see right now, guys, like the two loads that are right by me are going to Mexico. And then the next closest is uh, 70 miles of Deadhead. Then we got Charlotte. So, And this is at 10, 10 15 a.m., guys. So <clears throat> something this week just dropped off volume where there's not even a lot of loads. Uh, prices are already bad, but now there's not even any loads, so it's not getting any better. That's for sure. So this time we're gonna actually not just look around where I live, since there's not even much around us, even for the weekend. Uh, I mean, West Palm 1500, that's been up for a while. That's that's way low. That's gonna cost you 600 in fuel. Um, keep looking around, but it, we're, our deadheads through the roof already, going way down, which is. Some, sometimes you have to do, but when you get there, it's not even worth the amount of fuel you're going to spend to get there and back. That beach island back to Greenville that was up there, that is a maybe. I've been on that one. Um, they rejected it the first time, and then they said it was covered. And then it was back under, on the board again today. Um, so it's like, I don't know if they're playing games or what they're doing. But that was Convoy. And also, a new broker right there. Scroll to the bottom. It'll, Truck Smart will tell you if they're factorable. So that's a really cool feature. Um, they don't have, I've never seen a broker that wasn't factorable, but... Talking with them at Matt's, they said there, there are some that are not. So going into Monday, guys, not a lot out there. So we'll switch it up. Well, I've never done this before. We'll go, let's try Chicago. Go up there. That's a, that's a hub of freight. It's where a lot of the brokers are based out of. Go up there and see what they got going on. Uh, 2488. 
2,488 loads, so definitely have as much volume as the southeast, but we'll see if they actually uh, have anything worthwhile. I mean, all the way down to Texas, I don't know these lanes, so you let me know if any of these look okay, um, but they seem, I mean, that might be a decent, but that's, when it has two prices like that, that's just like a range, but Truck Smarter is telling you it should go for, but right now, my goodness, it's not going, not going great at all, so... $1,000 all the way to Oklahoma. That seems a bit light uh, coming out of Michigan. I don't know. And then Saturday, uh, anything, Iowa, that might be it. I mean, some of the short ones might be worth it up there. I don't know. That is not my wheelhouse for sure. But I just want to show you guys different areas on Truck Smarter. Uh, there's van available. There's reefer. There's flatbed. There's um, power only. There's box truck. All that stuff's available on Truck Smarter. So check them out. Now I'm going to drive Phoenix. That's where I, I uh, spent my 20s and my 30s. I spent 18 years there, guys. Um, but that is another area where my brother lives. I'll check it out. I don't know that either, but it seems like all the way back to Minnesota, there's a little bit light there. Nebraska, I don't know if that's good or not. It doesn't seem like it. But uh, we'll keep doing this. Let me know the cities you'd like to see coming out of California, coming out of, I don't know, Wisconsin, Michigan. Ohio, that kind of stuff, and I'll start doing that too. But yeah, it doesn't look great, guys, anywhere in the nation, going out or coming back. So we'll keep looking and um, pray for the trucking industry, pray for the country, because it's not only trucking, it's our whole economy right now, and uh, we're trying to see what's going on there. So I have some free time, so as you see in the background here, I am starting the kids' channel. I'm going to try and get them into what they like watching, because it's not that hard to do it once I learn the editing. So I'll learn that up and... We'll start doing that too, but once trucking comes back or something's worth it, I will definitely be doing it. So I hope you like that new little way I did it. I'll do a couple different cities here and there. I'll just choose them randomly, leave in the comments if you want a city looked at. Um, there's lots of loads out here where I'm at, just not anything worth it. And then there's even less in Phoenix, um, and Chicago has some too, but we'll see what we get. But these kids are doing great. Their channel's pretty cool. I'm going to drop another video for them today, just getting stuff set up for them and... Um, praying for the weekend praying something shows up but trucking is not there right now guys so i don't really have much content for you with the truck and i pray for the country because if it's that bad right now just really times are slowing down so Gigi's minivan's fixed though spencer and um oh yeah that's what we did yesterday we also helped t-dub's brother move so we, we drove well, only about 15 miles down the way and unloaded his couch and stuff for him but it was uh nice helping him out and then Gigi just popped out on me so i actually gave her the red wheel van oh yeah <laughs> she drove that and we got that water pump fixed in about three hours so check out 3bb for that water pump replacement a lot of 3.3.5 v6 motors that come out of those toyotas they're the same so if you have a there's 16 bolts holding that thing in but we got it done check that out and um we'll see what the rest of the day holds if we get a break in the weather and if i go put those apu parts on or if i get a load but in the meantime we were just hanging out on good friday what's up dudes how you doing good seeing you at walmart how you been, Daddy. man? How, yeah, whoa, your short shirt's a little big. Daddy. Yeah, baby. Uh oh, playing tag. What's up, man? How you doing? How's school going? Good. Happy to have Friday off. Yeah. Nice. And Monday. And Monday. Daddy. We're measuring for some TVs. You guys gotta come over and check them out sometime. Daddy. So we ended up at Walmart. Oh yeah. So get a little more of the uh, boys' channel, uh, KCK, going and set up that room for him. So I did a little bit more today. I'll drop that video probably with this video, but. Uh, Oh yeah, and then we picked up some neighbor friends that you guys saw earlier. They're gonna come over and hang out, actually. It's crazy, because that's how much one TV used to cost, guys. Yeah. You guys ready? Stop playing with crazy stuff, you yeah. crazies. All right, let's go, guys. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Look at that time capsule right there. That is crazy. I guess I never made it out to California to be a lowrider. Uh, barely fit those TVs in T-Dub's car. Luckily, she was parked right next to me. Uh, I thought they'd fit in a minivan. They did not. I would have had to take out the whole seat. So, all right, let's get home and see what's going on here. This video I'll probably load the next day. I'm gonna do that Green Ape stuff. <laughs> let's go. Got them home. Now let's get them measured and on the walls. I got the swivel mounts, so I want to be able to tilt them down a little bit so they can, because these seats kind of lay back, so they can kind of not be staring. The whole way. Oh yeah, I got some measuring. I got some studs to find. I got it. Pull from one side. Good job. TV. TV number one is 
Getting set. Oh my goodness. I'm almost done upstairs. Did you guys have fun? If you guys don't know, these are the guys that come over uh, and saw me at my semi truck all the time. And we saw them at Walmart today, so we said, hey, come hang out. So they've been hanging out for about three hours. It's time for them to go home. It's getting late. Later, dudes. All right, the two crazies. Oh, yeah. Later, guys. Right, Safe guys. travels. You're right. Uh, you guys get home safe. Get to keep warm. It's supposed to be colder, colder tomorrow. So later. Hey, Josh, I really <laughs> we'll see you on the next video. There you go, brother. <laughs> later, guys. So today, we had a great time hanging out with our buddies well, last night. Uh, Kate Kidden and Caden, awesome dudes. Had fun with you. Um, this is uh, Baptist Bible Church. No, so this is, uh, I think it's... It is raining, Kai, and it's 40 degrees, it's 41. Bi Bible Baptist Church. Bible yeah. Baptist. That'd be cute. <laughs> they have so much property right here, and they also have friends that are on the lawn up here. Every single year um, for the past, I want to say about five years. I was talking about different friends. Oh, those, <laughs> well, those friends. There's, there's one of those birds, those ones that goes on the, uh, the kill deer. Yep, uh, not those friends. We're talking about our buddies over here that are seeping through the uh, massive amount of real estate that this church has. <laughs> Which is good for them because they get a lot of worms. A ton of real estate out here. But yeah, so this is a cool thing to do up here. Tell us about it, Dubs. So I think they've been doing it for the past five years. Um, on Good Friday, they set up the tomb, um, the cross is in the tomb, and then they guard the tomb until Easter when he is risen. And it, uh, it's it's a cool one. It gets to me. And they're out here rain or shine. Especially this weekend because it was 80 degrees three days ago, and now it's 41 degrees. So we'll show you what they're doing. It's super awesome. I just think it's cool because it's like... They truly understand the sacrifice God yeah. made and they're out here sacrificing their time and their energy to do this. I think it's great. That is pretty awesome. Yeah. Alrighty. And then tomorrow what they'll do is they will open the tomb and it will be empty. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, but right now we're going out to the lake. Um, we got the, our buddy Stan. Stan's towing service. Stan is awesome. And Spencer, <laughs> we'll get a... We'll get Spencer's update on his 6.0 that we saw earlier. Um, if he's got it back in, if the head, which one it was, I'm sure Stan will give us that update. And I'm sure Spencer's probably still working on that motor. But yeah, I just want to show you guys that. And we're going to get out there and cut this stump off because I have uh, grinder guides on call, ready to go. But he said you just got to get the rest of that. We're not at the lake house yet. We also got a little update on a new thing we're going to be doing on the channel. Uh, Stan had a request that... Uh, Whenever we go out to eat, we are going to now rate <laughs> our a, food in the a, restaurant. On a five star or a ten star? I think we star. should do like a one to five. Like one to five. Five, five stars. Star. Are... Five star being the best. Um, Why are we turning around? Because there, I don't really want. There's a lot of traffic on that road. But... Like we'll rate the food one to ten, and the restaurant a one to five star. Yeah. Yeah, I like uh, it. All right. Sam's like, I love all the places you go to eat, but tell us about it. Tell me if I, <laughs> tell me if tell I, I should eat them. Tell if I should go or not. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Like the Mexican place we had on the way back from Matt's. Uh, Let's give it a three, three star. A three, yeah, That's a three. three star. Good food. Awesome service. Service was five. Great service. Uh, Ten food, on the service. Food, three, three point five. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go, Stan. But we're going to go meet Stan right now, get that rest of that stump grinded off. And uh, then our um, stump grinders can come out and clean them up. And that'll be another step towards the shop. Yeah, it's cold out here. But uh, And then, guys, look here on the left. You see this J.B. Hunt load? Uh, it's probably AI. Hopefully it's not. But, um... I hope it's not a person that's doing that, but $25 going towards Atlanta for Monday. I'm looking for Monday loads because there's one load for today, about three loads for tomorrow, and uh, the load for today is going to Mexico. So I'm like, uh. So yeah, it's getting, I think everyone's kind of holding pattern, just like they kind of did for the, there's the guys again for the tomb. It's pretty cool. They got swords and everything. Um, just like they did during the uh, COVID and election kind of time, everyone just kind of chills and sees what's going to happen. I think what's that, that's what they're doing right now in the world. I don't know. Plus, a lot of stuff's just not moving. And the mega carriers have it all. So, trucking is kind of in limbo right now for the spot market. The big companies, they're covering all the stuff, and they don't need us, like I've been saying. So, we're going to do that. But I'm going to get – I was going to go today and do the green APU stuff, but I'll, maybe I'll do it tonight. But uh, I'm going to probably let this weather pass and do it tomorrow. So, let's get to the lake house and uh, go hang out with Stan. And a 32-inch chainsaw. Hello. Yeah, so right here, that's the new loves. We got a good start rate on fuel. Cheese. $9.99? 10 bucks a gallon? No, they're just testing the signs, but yeah, there's a new loves going to be right there. That's pretty cool because the only thing you really have coming through Greenville is exit 63, um, yeah, which is like the TA and the pilot. And then you have like a couple Sphinxes and QTs, but yeah, that's a nice little breakup because you don't have another pilot or loves till like you get into Georgia. Exit 4. 
the exit one, I believe, is a uh, pilot and a glove. So it's cool. It's opening soon. Should bring some more parking, much needed. And I love T Dub's car because his windshield wipers speed up and slow down with how much rain's in the windshield. Minivan doesn't have that. I wish you did. It's all good. Okay, we're almost there. Heading into uh, the lake. It is a Saturday, but the truck stop is 100% full. Um, there's some giant schools right here that <laughs> Peter built. Uh, bigger than a truck, man. I wonder what, the, I wonder what it gets wound on those. It's a south something, south wire. South, south wire? Oh. Yeah, south wire. So I assume it's like, I bet you it's uh, that stuff. No. You don't think so? You don't so? think it's power line? I don't know. I don't think so. Or, or... I did say south wire on it. Yeah, maybe what kind of wire they're pulling. Go ahead, GMC. You got this. You got it. Go, go. All right. Oh, she's he a an him. elderly lady. Okay. I let her, elderly she, gentleman. She had a, you know, it was a lady. She had a uh, cute little uh, zebra uh, license plate. Okay, okay. Uh -oh, Dang. That poor Tahoe took a hit. Yeah, yeah. It's still rolling that thing. Like, heck, whatever. Still drives. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Get let's get in here and get. No, I don't need any fuel. Oh, my. Just, no, it's cold out here, Bubba. I'm just going to go in real quick. Yeah, it's got the uh, South American train going here. Uh, you'll see this a lot coming down 85. I saw it in Arizona too. A lot of them going to Tucson where they, one car being pulled by one car being pulled by another car. Usually it's like a Toyota pulling three Toyotas or two Toyotas, but uh, not today. <laughs> Whoa, it's cold out here. A little bit wet. And a quick pit stop, and get to the lake. We made it to the lake and that water level looks even higher. I love it. Rain's helping. We can kind of gauge it on that little rock cliff over there. Those three little rocks. Ooh, look at Bumpy. The phone, the phone mount said no more. We're back. Don't worry. Man, a little bit rainy. Uh, we we're supposed to have a uh, window in the rain, but uh, we're here. We're in We're in, in it to win it now. Stands probably right in front of us. Uh, we stopped real quick at that QT. Saw the South America train. And uh, yeah, let's get over to the lake. And we have to reset the lake because we um, had some renters last weekend. So we figured we'd get that done too. And dual purpose it, get that stump ground down so I can just send the guys out there, let them grind the stumps, and then uh, we can come back out and start laying down some concrete, moving a shed. I did bring umbrellas. The lake house! Oh, yeah. Stay yeah. The man. Stands here with his new Ford. New to him, Ford. Got the hey, long bed. Got the long bed. They put the fence back up. Heck yeah. Look at all that wood in the fireplace. Oh, I put that in there. I, it was wood all over the cement. Stan's got the raincoat on. He's ready to go. Yeah, he got a full rain suit on. 32 inch or 36, 32 inch. Uh, chainsaw. Let's check it out. And T Dub's used her Wi Fi to go ahead and turn on the uh, heat. heat in the house. Super cool. Hey, there's the window. <laughs> yeah, we'll still make it happen. I, I planned a little bit. Nice. Listen, 32 <laughs> inch still? 32 inch hot Husqvarna. 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 Oh, those are good too, huh? Yes. Those are well known. Doing some adjustments? Well, old chain was... Locking up? It was. It, it, it wasn't happy. So Not happy. I put a new one on it. Oh, well, sweet. <laughs> did you test it a little bit? Like. Yeah, I did. It wasn't doing its thing. Let's go check out... What, check out what we're doing over here. So... Before they can stump grind, guys, we have to, uh, whoa, a little bit puddle. It has to be all the way, at least six inches to eight inches from the ground, so. Ah, man, he's gonna have fun stump grinding that. After he grinds it, we're gonna have to bobcat and really get this level. That's uh, a lot of stump grinding going on, but it is raining, but that lake's filling up. That's all that matters. Let's get to grinding. We're actually cutting. Casey, uh -huh. what'd you say? This is like, did you buy a tea kettle? Because I came in here and I was like, well, this is great. Did you buy this? Yeah. Did you get this from the Dollar General? Yeah. Yeah. That's so yes, nice. yes, everyone's talking to me. What's up? You pick. Okay, I'll put Bluey on. The house is actually in really good shape. Yeah, I took care of it. We got to plug in the cameras again. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Okay, I'll plug it in. Man, this room's dark with these cool windows that I put up. That'll be really good. Boom. Yeah, they did a great job. They put the beds back. Look at that. I didn't even use them. I'm still gonna wash them. All right, let's get some light in here. Okay, Casey, stand back. Stand back over here, okay? Get it 
up off itself to get some weight up off. shop's going to go up, we'd rather not have a tree next to it. How pretty. Thank you, Stan. I appreciate you. That's awesome. Why is this orange? That's uh, still real healthy. That's the, the root of it, bringing up the, the water. It's red oak. Yeah. Is that what it is? That's red, red oak. See all that red inside there? Yeah. yeah. Red oak. Red oak. I can see red. That's a cute little table. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dallas is over there. Yeah. He's right over there with his dad. Go say hi. <laughs> All right, Stan. We appreciate you, man. Say bye, bye, Stan. <laughs> See you, buddy. Yeah. See you later. All right. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, man. Drive safe. Anytime. Thank you so much for helping. Anytime. One step closer to the shop. Yee -hee. And it is just awesome. It's such a blessing to have people like Stan in your life. We've met them through YouTube, so excited about the future of like our son's channel and the people we might meet through there also but of course all the people we met at matt's and all you guys that support the channel we appreciate and love you um uh oh we got someone coming <laughs> what are you doing you gonna say bye bye i didn't know he was coming out here but yeah let's watch stan take off bye bye stan where's he going he's going bye bye he cut the tree you're standing on where's he going home he's got one clifford and the other clifford he has to go home now, back to his uh, son, Spencer, and his family, his wife. Why? But he, why? Because he cut that tree for us. Look at that car! Look at that car! Look at him go! See you later, Stan. All right. We'll see you next time, Stan. We'll have some fun out here at the lake this no summer. Video. But thanks for cutting these. Now we can get these grinded up. Do you want to hold the video? Okay. Good. Make sure your fingers... Hey. Make sure your fingers don't get in the way. See? There you go. There's a, there's a... He is working for Skittles. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. And we're almost done. T Dubs has the yeah. bed redone and the towels all. She, so what T Dubs does is she buys two sets of towels so that. <laughs> She cleans one set, leaves them in the dryer as we leave, so we have to wait for them to finish, and then she puts out the new set. So, pretty genius on T-Dubs uh, there. So. Thanks, Kason, for helping. I think you're good. Real men of genius. Real men of genius. Do you remember that? Real men of genius. Oh, that's great. You remember that? Yeah, I do. Where's that boy in that pool? Uh, the cord's on the other side. The cord button's on the other side. See it? You have to unplug it first. What? I just pulled it up. Did you? Yes. Well, there's, there's Kyle and your culprit right here. Yeah, I'm going to go check out that lake real quick, guys, because that water looks high, and it appears that one of our neighbor's dock broke loose. Okay, let's go check it out. You saw that? Because the rain has stopped for a second, so we got a little window. <laughs> so now we're taking that little walk down to the dock. I wish it didn't rain today. <laughs> well, it's raining Saturday. We can't have everything beautiful all the time. Yeah, baby. Yeah, you yeah. can't. You can't make it rain. We're walking to the water. How? We're gonna go to our dock. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know what those high winds we had. 
must have done this, but that dock right there should be straight out right there. Uh, you can see it broke off. Why did the bridge And go? then his dock, the one I was talking about last video, is completely broken off and he's over there. That is crazy. See, see, both those docks are broken. Yeah, that's That one over there on the left should be this way, and that guy should be straight out. My goodness. But the water is way up. This is higher than when we bought the house. Well, our dock's okay, but we don't have that much wind resistance like that one does. Uh, grateful for the water, but that's that's uh, that should be able to be fixed because their cables looks like it just came off track and slide over. But man, that's crazy, and they probably haven't been here to see it yet. So I got to get their phone numbers and let them know. Uh oh, we lost light. Must have been really windy out here. Yeah, don't go in the, by the water. Don't get in there. But yeah, see that dock over there took a bad hit. He went all the way to the side. Who did? Damn. That dock? Yes, that dock right oh, there. Look at that one. Yeah, that one shouldn't be there. <laughs> you see the steam coming off the water? Yeah. You can kind of see it right here. The water is hotter than the uh, outside right now because it was hot? warmer three days ago. Water's hot. Water's warm, yeah. Water's warmer than the air right now because it got pretty cold pretty quick. Joe, you cannot... oh, the wind is cold, not the rain. Yes. All you right. Like Blessed for the water, cold. but yeah, we'll can hopefully. I feel the water? No, you cannot. How cold is the water right now? Chilly. Probably as cold as chilly. I thought you told me it was warm. All right, let's get back to the house. Casey K, boy, still playing Casey K. Uh, Kyle's telling us he doesn't like his grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. You know he loves grilled cheese. Grilled. I don't have my french fries. Oh, you like your french fries, okay. Meatloaf sandwich. Uh, we haven't tried it yet. We'll do the Stan rating system after we eat. Yes. But uh, we're here now. And Stan, thank you so much for cutting those trees. But we were hungry. So this is called AJ's right off exit 19. And we'll give the rating after we eat. Well, we'll go ahead and give the rating on the beer cheese. A little spicy. A little spicy. It's good. I like it. I give it like a 5.4. Okay. Well, you just, it's one out of five. No, the food is one out of 10. Okay, the we got to stick with the 1.5 uh, five, five star system. Two star. Twos? I'll give it a 3.5. I don't know. I kind of feel like it's like a Costco pretzel. It is a Costco pretzel. Yeah, it's but it's only $11. Like so. fries, All right. We'll give you the food rating after this. What rating were those fries? Five. Five? Is this okay. for our channel? It yeah, no, does. <laughs> okay. what, what's the rating on those croutons with ranch over there? Gooder? Okay. I guess that's a four. How about this Philly cheese? 10 out of 10. Oh, 10 out of 10. Pretty good? Not as good as the station, because station is definitely a five. I'm going to give it like a four. Okay, the station is pretty dang good. The meatloaf sandwich, uh, I'm giving it a 4.5. That is awesome. I don't even know if that's bacon or what on the side. It's but bacon jam. Man, it's good. So, yeah, we'll give you an overall rating. But, Stan, that is your rating. And, there, uh, yeah, that's the ketchup on the face. Okay, let's do this. So, what's the consensus on uh, AJ's overall? Stan rating. Um, I say it's a four. Four? Service Four. five. Service five. The girl we had was awesome. Amazing. But, uh, I mean, it's not a five-star restaurant. No, it's, it's a bar and grill. Like, for a bar and grill, it's a four. Meatloaf sandwich was definitely on five. point. <laughs> five. Um, French fries were really good. Cooked right. Yes. And, uh, yeah, but the Philly was not not the best. The station's a bar that, uh, like, uh, she sings karaoke. So she good. loves their Philly. So good. So, but that one was pretty dang good. That's good. Onions were crisp. All right, That's we're going to get back home. And uh, load this video. Who tells you that? Waze. Oh, Waze does? Mm -hmm. So it says trailer flipped over two right lanes, guys. We're heading back to the house now from uh, three minutes ago. From AJ's. I guess we'll see. Prayers for everybody involved, but uh, 85. And then is... there's another accident. Oh, great. That says. A little bit of rain in South Carolina. Come on. Get home safe. All right. Let's see what we've got. So that police officer just arrived on the scene. Fire truck was there first, but uh, I don't know, Case. Prayers that everyone's okay, but it looks like they lost control. Looks like we had a yellow F-150. My goodness, oh man. We had a uh, landscaping trailer, yikes. T's and P's. Oh, yeah, it did hit the guardrail. And we're back home, and that is a wrap for this video. Um, Green APU, thank you so much. I will get that stuff on the truck, I promise. It's in the back of this truck. 
it's just raining. It's like 40 degrees. And I don't like being cold. I don't think anybody does. I know you guys are colder in other parts of the U.S., but down here in the south, 40 degrees is cold for us. So I had a little uh, puddle forming right here. If you can see that right there, never had that before. We're kind of pushing the, the mulch everywhere, and normally that just drains out fine. Was not doing that, so I got the ladder out and jumped up there. Oh, yeah. This bell was like clogging the whole um, thing with a bunch of leaves around it. So pulled that out. Who do you think threw that up there? My middle son, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Whatever. It's Christmas time in April. Hope you guys are having a blessed weekend. It is Easter tomorrow. If you uh, are a true believer in that kind of thing, uh, we will be going to service tomorrow morning. I hope you are too. If not, I hope you're enjoying your family and having a great day and just being grateful for uh, the life we live in, the country we live in. I know it's hard right now. The rates are down, but there was loads. Now the rates are down and there's not that many loads either. So I don't know. Something's changing in trucking. Uh, at least for the owner operators, I know companies are doing okay. I know even different uh, aspects of trucking reefer and the flatbed aren't doing that great at all either. So prayers for all that. I want to run that truck. I wish it to make it worthwhile. And it looks like the last load we've taken is that one that went to mats. That was the last, uh, that wasn't even a great load. It was 1250 oh, with a heavy load up there, but it got us up there and we were grateful for that. So praying for that um, to change and turn around. I mean, it's April and it should be turning around already. But if not by summer, then we really have to worry about it. So we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Please do check out the KCK. Um, if you get a chance, it's a new kind of thing we're excited about for them. And they can kind of take it over. But I'm going to try and build it up for them. So I might do some Uber tonight, but it is Easter tomorrow. So I'll probably just hang out with the family. Maybe get in a hot tub because it's cold and warm. Who doesn't like that? But on that note, we'll get back to trucking as soon as trucking is, uh, is trucking. So God bless you. And thank you to Stan, Green APU, everybody out there. And uh, Spencer, good luck with that 6.0. On that note, we will see you on the next one.